So generally speaking, I am not a super huge fan of the Lizard Man monsters. I feel like you build them and then you try to use them and you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Anything else that I could have brought in here would have been so much better. However, the Fire Lizard Man is the exception to the rule. He was buffed, I think roughly six months or so ago in response to the new dungeons coming out. So he actually has some utility. Let's take a look at what he's for. So we're here on the free to win account right now where we only use two and three star monsters for all the content in the game. We don't spend any money. We are going to show a budget, super budget, since we don't have any fours and five stars. Well, I mean, we have them on this account, but we don't use them, right? We're here to show a super budget Steel Fortress B10 team using the Fire Lizard Man. So we have the Fire Lizard Man here. He's fully skilled up. Uh, he has skill one is just a defense break and continuous damage, right? Not really a high chance of landing these uh, these debuffs either. Skill two, actually, this uh, more damage as your HP becomes lower. It's really kind of irrelevant. Blocks the enemy from getting beneficial effects for two turns with a 75% chance. That's exactly what you want in here, right? But not only do we have that for the skill two, we also have that for the passive decreases chance of being attacked with a critical hit by 50% which is, it's whatever, we have element advantage against them anyway, so they're barely going to crit on him. Uh, attacker cannot be granted with beneficial effects for one turn when you are attacked. So the block beneficial effects here as a passive, whenever the boss hits us, well, whenever anything hits us, right? And then if we don't land it as a passive, we have skill two, or if we don't land on skill two, we have it as a passive. We have two chances to land this debuff, right? So, and then I'm not sure why he even has revenge. We just had him on just basically whatever. Just whatever to make him tanky. Give him some ac- Actually, he could use some more accuracy. But like I said, it's free to win. We're using just budget nonsense on here. Really not anything too special. Uh, we are using some Inugamis. We're using a Fran. We're using a Lauren. Let's take a look at the team. And let's see how it does. So this is basically uh, the debuff that you need to complete this whole dungeon, right? You, you clear the waves. It's kind of easy to clear the waves, just say same as uh, any other dungeon for the most part. And then when you get to the boss, block beneficial effects, and then you're set, right? Because he does damage mitigation based on, well, look at this. We even cleared the uh, mini boss on free to win in a decent amount of time, right? So um, the boss does damage mitigation based on the amount of beneficial effects that he gets. Uh, one of the towers gives him extra beneficial effects, and he also gets extra beneficial effects as part of the passive. So he is going to actually get these beneficial effects here. We can strip them with the skill 2 from Lorne, but now we have Destructive Blow, and that's basically, that's basically it. So he's not going to get the beneficial effects from the tower. And then next time we attack him, and he would get the beneficial <laughs> effects from there. Okay, so now we're going to have some issues stripping this. I normally have a different unit in here, but I wanted to put the double Inugamis because I know that you guys are not going to build the other unit that we use. So, uh, yeah, he also has the um, this one per beneficial effect on the boss. So she finally stripped it, so we have no, uh, no beneficial effects. He can't have beneficial effects anyway, so there we go. And then the more debuffs, the better it is for Crow, right? Because we got max debuffs right now. So Crow does damage based on uh, harmful effects on the enemy. So as soon as Crow moves... 134k, right? Pretty nice, right? Super budget Steel Fortress team, if you guys are not familiar with it, if you guys are not aware. Uh, and then if you just stick a Lucian here, it gets even better, right? So basically all you want to do is make him fast-ish, give him some good accuracy. I'm surprised we actually don't have, uh, we aren't maxed on. Eh, we're close to being maxed on here. But yeah, just make him fast-ish with uh, some decent accuracy. And... That's basically it. He doesn't really do any crazy damage, so you don't really have to worry about like, oh, let me get some crit rate and crit damage. He does damage based on defense, and we're going to do extra damage there. Make him fast. Give him a good accuracy. You can put crap runes on. You can put random two-set nonsense on him, to be honest. You could even put fight runes on him. Fight runes would make the other units do more damage, clear the runs faster, right? So he, he really, or you could use the, uh, the, the team HP or the team defense or the team resistance or the team accuracy, whatever. He just needs to be fast and uh, have some decent accuracy. That's about it. That's really about it. He's just, he works how he is. It's, it's his passive too. It's his skill too and his passive to block beneficial effects. I wouldn't say that he's great for everything. But he's definitely a decent unit to build for Steel Fortress. You could probably even use him as a 5-star, to be honest. You could probably even use him as 5-star. We got the Secret Dungeon, so you're going to be able to completely max him up if you are... <laughs> if you're early game. Not a whole lot of people that are early game right now, but if you, for whatever reason, are coming back to the game, or you happen to have just started the game, uh, based on actually all the 7-year advertisements and stuff that's going around, um... 
Maybe you don't have a Steel Fortress team. Maybe you're curious. There you go. There's the uh, Fire Lizard Man. They actually give they actually give some decent secret dungeons out every so often, right? Because we had I think we had the the, the Fire Fra uh, the, sorry the well the Fire Frankenstein is good the the Water Frankenstein at some point recently. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Just wanted to give a little recap to people. Maybe if they don't already know. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a good night. And I will see you as always in the next one.